The lineup for this year's movies is good, but next year's is even better. And in this week's roundup, we've got some truly exciting news and sneak peeks for you. From an incredibly priming update on Spider-Man 4, to a new Jurassic World movie, it's all kicking off. So without further ado, let's get started. The upcoming Jurassic World movie is making waves with some exciting news. According to insider Daniel Rickman, the film's title will be Jurassic World Rebirth. While it's not officially confirmed yet, the title has been trademarked, hinting it's likely. The movie has been in production since mid-June, directed by Gareth Edwards and written by David Coop, the original scribe of Jurassic Park. This film promises a fresh take, ushering in a new era for the franchise. The plot will revolve around three adults and three teens, who find themselves stuck on the infamous island. Scarlett Johansson, the film's main star, is pretty excited like us. I'm an enormous Jurassic Park fan. It's one of the first films I remember seeing in the theater. It was life-changing, mind-blowing. I cannot express how excited I am. She's also pretty happy with the script, saying, David Coop returned after 30 years to write it. He's so passionate about it, which is awesome. Produced by Steven Spielberg, Frank Marshall, and Patrick Crowley, the cast includes Jonathan Bailey, Manuel Garcia Rufo, Mahershala Ali, Rupert Friend, Luna Blaise, and David Iacona. Mark your calendars because Amblin Entertainment and Universal Pictures will release Jurassic World Rebirth on July 2nd, 2025. This is great news for horror fans because filming has officially kicked off for Megan 2.0, the highly anticipated sequel to the 2022 hit. Although the film's release date has been pushed to June 27, 2025, everything seems to be on track to meet this new deadline. Returning for the sequel are Allison Williams and Violet McGraw, with Jenna Davis back to voice the eerie AI doll, Megan. Joining the cast are Ivana Sokno from Star Wars Ahsoka, Tim Sharp of Percy Jackson and the Olympiads, Aristotle Athari from SNL, and Jermaine Clements of What We Do in the Shadows. Akila Cooper is writing the script, and Gerard Johnstone is directing. In the first Megan, we follow the story of Gemma Allison Williams, a robotics whiz who becomes the guardian of her eight-year-old niece, Katie, Violet McGraw, after a family tragedy. To help Katie, Gemma introduces her to Megan, a cutting-edge AI doll meant to protect and care for her. However, things go awry, and Megan's protective instincts turn deadly. The final scene hinted at Megan's escape into the smart home network, setting the stage for the sequel. While the plot for Megan 2.0 is still under wraps, we can expect the story to escalate, possibly featuring Megan wreaking havoc across smart home systems, or unleashing a legion of robotic dolls. With the first film's playful tone, anything goes for this sequel. Jason Blum has even teased the possibility of Megan crossing over with other horror flicks, like this year's Imaginary. So the day you got a circle on your calendars for this one is June 27, 2025. Hope you're ready. This is one you might have been waiting for. The upcoming FX television series, Alien Earth, has officially wrapped production. Noah Hawley, the mastermind behind this highly anticipated show, confirmed the big update. It's been almost four years since the project was first announced in December 2020. Back then it was revealed that Hawley, who's teaming up with Ridley Scott as an executive producer, had been working on this Alien series. There were even whispers about a live-action series back in 2019. Alien Earth is set a few years before Prometheus and about 30 years before the original Alien film. While it's a standalone story, it's set in the same universe, so keep an eye out for Easter eggs and references to the broader Alien saga. If the first season gets a warm reception, Holly has plans for future seasons, potentially expanding the story further. The cast includes Sidney Chambler, Alex Lothar, Samuel Blinken, S.E. Davis, Ardash Garoff, Kit Young, David Riestal, and Timothy Oliphant. Although there's no exact premiere date yet, Alien Earth is expected to hit screens sometime in 2025. For many fans, Avengers Endgame was the pinnacle of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and now Marvel is looking to recapture that magic. They've called back the Russo brothers, Joe and Anthony Russo, to direct the upcoming Avengers movies. According to The Hollywood Reporter, the Russos are set to helm both the untitled Avengers 5 and Avengers 6 Secret Wars. Although discussions are still in the early stages, it seems almost certain they'll be on board. There have been other names floating around for the director's chair, including Sean Levy of Deadpool and Wolverine, and Dustin Daniel Crin, the visionary behind Shang-Chi. The Russos have previously directed some of the MCU's biggest hits, including Captain America The Winter Soldier, Civil War, Infinity War, 
and of course Endgame, which remains the second highest grossing film of all time. While details about Avengers 5 are still under wraps, especially after Jonathan Major's recent departure, Secret Wars will be based on the iconic 80s comic series, where heroes and villains clash on a distant planet. The Russos have expressed their excitement about bringing this epic story to life. What we know so far is that Avengers 5 is set for May 1, 2026, and Secret Wars will hit theaters on May 7, 2027. And now for the big one, Spider-Man 4 is officially happening, with Tom Holland set to swing back into action as the beloved MCU hero. Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige recently shared some exciting updates with io9 about the film's development. After the massive success of Spider-Man No Way Home, which raked in $1.9 billion worldwide and received glowing reviews, there's been a lot of buzz about what's next. Feige revealed that the script for Spider-Man 4 is currently in the works. While there were rumors of disagreements between Sony's Tom Rothman and Marvel's Feige over the film's direction, Feige leaning towards a more grounded story, and Rothman favoring another multiverse adventure with Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield, it seems the groundwork for the film is moving forward. We might see a shift from the home trilogy naming trend, with a potential new trilogy or standalone titles for Holland Spider-Man. The end of No Way Home left fans with plenty of intriguing hints, including the possibility of addressing Doctor Strange's spell, or exploring the multiverse chaos teased for Avengers The King Dynasty and Avengers Secret Wars. The return of Venom symbiote could also be in play, potentially setting up a storyline reminiscent of Spider-Man 3. Plus, with Kingpin making waves in the MCU through Echo and Daredevil Born Again, a gritty New York City-based adventure could be on the horizon. With the script draft expected soon, filming might kick off in 2025, hinting at a release date for late 2025 or 2026. Dylan Clark, producer of The Batman, has just revealed some exciting news. A new spin-off series is in the works, expanding the universe of the 2022 DC film. After Matt Reeves's The Batman, starring Robert Pattinson as The Dark Knight, became a hit, Warner Brothers and HBO Max quickly greenlit a sequel and a spin-off centered on Colin Farrell's Oswald Cobblepot, aka Penguin. There was also buzz about another series focused on the Gotham City Police Department, but that one seems to have been shelved. In a recent chat with Entertainment Weekly, Clark spilled some beans about the upcoming series while promoting The Penguin. He teased, there's another television exploration we're going to do. We're looking at this entire world as it relates to who Batman is, the antagonists around him, all the crime in the city, and figuring out where are the areas that are best to explore. Interestingly, elements from a previously scrapped Gotham PD series have found their way into The Penguin. Originally intended as a police procedural, it morphed into an Arkham Asylum spin-off before getting canned. However, some ideas from it have been integrated into The Penguin, which picks up a week after The Batman and follows Oswald Cobblepot's climb to power in Gotham's criminal underworld. With a stellar cast including Renzi Felice, Sheree Agdashloop, Kristen Milioti, Michael Zegan, and Clancy Brown, The Penguin is set to premiere on HBO on September 19, 2024. Robert Downey Jr. is making a grand return to the Marvel superhero universe after a five-year hiatus, but not as Iron Man, the role that made him a household name. This time he's stepping into the shoes of Dr. Victor Von Doom, a major villain from the comics. Downey Jr. will start in Avengers Doomsday, set to hit theaters in May 2026, followed by Secret Wars a year later. The exciting news was revealed at the Comic-Con event in San Diego, where Downey Jr. surprised fans by appearing on stage in Doctor Doom's iconic mask and green cloak before revealing his true identity. When asked about his new role, Downey Jr. shared, I like playing complicated characters. At 59 he remains a pivotal figure in the Marvel movie universe, having kick-started it with Iron Man in 2008. His last Marvel appearance was in 2019's Avengers Endgame. Earlier this year, Downey Jr. won an Oscar for his performance in Oppenheimer. Marvel fans have even more to look forward to, with three new films slated for release in 2025, before the Avengers make their highly anticipated return. What do you think about the casting? Hate it? Love it? Let us know in the comments. So which release are you most excited for? Let us know in the comments below.